hello and welcome to magic autocad in this part of tutorial we are going to learn how to convert a 3d drawing to 2d drawing there are many ways which we can convert a 3d drawing to 2d uh, but today we are going to use the flat shot to convert this 3d model to a 2d so let's get started I would like us to go to the top view so we go to the view cube and we click on the top view so this is the top view and I would like you to keep in uh, to have the notion that you can only draw on a y x axis okay so as you can see our UCS is uh, on the axis y x so we can draw so from here let's go to Move up here to this ribbon area and you're going to see the section panel. Then you drop down. Then you click on flat shot. Then this flat shot uh, dialog box is going to open up. Then the first thing here is to insert as new block. So make sure it's checked. Okay. Make sure it's checked then the second one will be to replace existing blocks yeah you uncheck make sure it's unchecked don't check this one and then you come to the third one to export to a file no we are not exporting so you don't check then the next part now will be to the four uh, ground lines the four ground lines so this four ground lines four means the front okay the part that you're going to view so if you can view this top view now you see that these lines these projected lines that we view now like this is the lines that we they are the four lines so uh let's give a color to this line sorry so i would like us to give a green Color, okay we select a green color then now let's move down to the obscure lines obscure lines here will mean uh, the lines that exist in this building but you cannot view them okay and you can only view using dotted lines if you want to view or they might be obstructing your drawing if you put continuous line so let's come down now to the line type the line type here uh, we have continuous but if you uncheck if you uncheck this show because we are not going to show the lines here is already checked to show the lines is already checked but our main aim is to have the top view the, the roof view so let's uncheck here then here we talk of induced uh, tangential edges so we are not concerned with that for now uh, then we come to create you click on create then immediately this top view is going to follow okay then you click then click and then you you tap the enter key three times enter enter and enter again so you'll find the top view like this so this is the top view we just created then now i like us to move to the front view in order to create this front view so we move to the front view and uh, here you see that our ucs is at z x okay you see z x here but now we can only draw along the x y axis so we move up here to the coordinates and we drop down this uh, panel then we click on face okay when you click on face you see that our ucs is going to turn to the y x coordinate then now let's move up here to section let's click on section then you see the flat shot you click on it 
then this dialog box is gonna open up then at this point already inserted as a new block is already so the functions that we already checked in is visible now so now let's move down to obscure i would like us to change certain things on these obscure lines so i would like us now to check to check on obscure lines because we have a lot here to learn then you will see that the line type at obscure is continuous line then let's click on create to see what we got so we're gonna have something like this yeah i like us to place it here then you click enter enter and enter again three times <clears throat> very well then so here you're gonna see that we have some lines some lines we have some lines that are not visible at the front okay like this line here is the line of the wall in our wall that is not visible at the front but it is showing okay and then even up here you will see to other many lines many lines that are not supposed to be here that are not shown at the front view but you view them because the lines that you are supposed to see in hidden lines you kept them in continuous lines you activated the obscure so that is why you see these lines too many like this so i would like us to go back to section then you click on flat shot then now let's make some certain changes here i would just like us to change at obscure lines i would like us to change the line type okay let's drop down to change the line type we'll go to others then you come up here you load let's load another line so you see these lines then now let's then now let's uh, select these dotted lines then you click okay then okay again then you come down here on the line type drop down and you select yeah you select this uh, dotted line that just and then you click on create then now let's click it somewhere here then we tap this enter key three times then you're gonna find some sorry for that pop up then you're gonna find something like this then here you're gonna see that these lines this obscure line the obscure lines here have shown in detail in, in dotted lines okay so the obscure lines that i told you have shown and you see that the color is yellow okay the obscured lines here that were just too many so they have shown in detail line which means that these lines are behind okay they are not visible at the view they are not visible they are behind so that's why it's shown at dotted lines then as you see there so i would like us to delete these two okay because it's not what we want for now erase so from here let's go back to the section panel we drop down and we click on flat shots then our dialog box open up then the only thing we're going to change here now you come down to the obscure lines then you drop down let's put this line at continue okay we'll change the dotted line to put it at continuous then make sure that you uncheck this show okay so that nothing will show again even if you even if you allowed the dotted lines and uncheck the show and then nothing will show okay make sure you uncheck so that it will not show and then you click on create then now let's create it here enter enter and enter again twice then now let's see what we've got so here you're gonna see that we got the front view okay we got the front view nothing nothing like uh, too many lines no multiple lines so that is our front view and uh, 
if you turn it okay i would like us to go straight to let's move over here to go to the southwest isometric view okay so sorry where is that southwest isometric so here i want us to create the isometric view of the 2d drawing in that case we go back to section we we'll click on flat shots then now let's just go on and uh, create okay because everything here is okay so let's just go on and click on create so let's click somewhere here and then we enter price okay we're gonna find something like this so in order to see your views clearly then you go back to the world UCS then you come to the YouTube and you click on front then here you're gonna see your isometric view okay here you're gonna see your isometric view of 2d okay so when you draw on a 2d this is how your drawing would look like when you draw on a 2d then let's see the front so this is how the front view will look like now what if you want to draw the ground plan yeah let's say the ground plan what if you want to draw the ground plan so the only thing you can do is if your roof is able to move if you can be able to move your roof because this one is in block we can move so let's select this roof and remove okay let's move it aside then from here yeah because some other features like uh, maybe this uh you see like this beam here you can still remove but for now let's just allow it okay for tutorial purpose then now uh, we go to the top view then make sure you have your x y axis then now here you will see that we don't have uh, if we had partition walls inside because with this one we don't have partition walls so if we had partition walls inside then you're going to see them but actually i what i do is that i freeze the layers so let's go to the layers and unfreeze to see the walls that we had so if uh, start from here unlock and freeze unlock and unfreeze unlock and unfreeze unlock and uh, unfreeze so you see that initially we had a plan like this so automatically this is the plan this is the plan that we had initially so i hope that tutorial was helpful guys if you did enjoy the tutorial please subscribe to my channel thank you very much see you in our next tutorial in our next tutorial we are going to learn how to uh convert a 3d drawing using layers okay using layouts we are going to learn how to convert a 3d drawing to 2d drawing using layouts